Good day, I am teacher Clarence and I would like to welcome you to Technical Drafting 7. You will learn the alphabet of lines from this video lesson. This is in addition to your TLE Technical Drafting Module 7 on Prepare and Interpret Technical Drawing. Before you proceed to our topic, let me tell you a story. One day, an old woman is so excited about having her own house that she sneaks the architect's very first draft. Suddenly, she got angry that she almost fired the architect. Her reason was, I can't understand a thing. What are these overlapping lines? Is my house going to be a house of a steak, man? The architect answered, Madam, you sneak it. I was about to explain. What are those lines really say? Today, we will talk about the alphabet of lines. Alphabet of lines refers to the different style used in drafting to indicate different features. How a line looks is a large part of what the line means. ABCs are the building blocks of language. In order to become literate, we must be able to recognize each letter, both in order and out of order, as well as the sounds connected with that letter. Once armed with that knowledge, we are well on the road to reading and literacy. Just like the alphabet of lines, if we're able to recognize each lines, both the use and features, we can understand the language of industry. It is important to study the alphabet of lines for you to understand technical drawing because the use of alphabet of lines enables us to express the features of an object clearly and accurately. Let's start! Visible line It is a thick line used to indicate of all visible edges of an object. They should stand cut clearly in contrast to other lines so that the shape of an object is apparent to the eye. Phantom line. It is a thin line used to indicate alternate position from moving parts, adjacent position of related parts, and repetitive detail. Extension line. It is a thin line extends from the object in order to show dimension limits. Dimension line. It is a thin solid line terminated by arrowheads at both ends to show the direction and extent of a dimension. It contains measurement. Reference line. It is a thin line used to indicate dimension or notes on a drawing. Leader line. It is a thin line used to indicate the parts of a drawing to which a note refers. Arrowheads touch the object lines while the dot rests on a surface. Hidden line. It is a thin line used to show surfaces, edges, or corners of an object that are hidden from view. Center line. It is a thin line used to show the center of holes and symmetrical features. Cutting plane line. It is a thick line used to designate where imaginary cutting took place. Section line. It is a thin line used to indicate the surface in section view imagined to have been cut along the cutting plane line. Short break line. It is a thick line used to show breaks of a small object. Long break line. It is a thin solid line with Z symbol inserted in several paces of the line used to reduce size of the view in drawing, especially when the object is very big.
Now, let's take a look to the first draft of the architect. Let's see the type of lines used in his drawing. As you remember, this was the draft snicked by the old woman. So what is this line? Leader line. Good. How about this? Visible line. Great. This one. Yes, extension line. What about this? Dimension line. You're doing great. And the last one. Hidden line. Perfect. Good job. Let's proceed to the activity. The title of the activity is line work. This first activity is for the learners without drawing materials only. Mechanics. 1. Label the items with the corresponding alphabet of lines. 2. Write your answers in your TLE activity notebook or send via text messages or write them in the comment section. Here is your activity. The next activity is for the learners with drawing materials only. Mechanics 1. Use A for coupon band as your drawing paper. 2. Copy the 2D drawing on your drawing paper with the dimensions given on the first image. 3. Draw the missing alphabet of lines in the 2D drawing based on the 3D view. 4. Use the rubric as your guide in doing the activity. 5. Output is expected to be submitted on the day of retrieving and receiving of SLM and LAS. Use this image as your guide in copying the 2D drawing. Draw using the measurements on the image. Here is your activity. Here is the rubric. I hope you learned from this video lesson. If you have questions, just contact these numbers or comment down below. Read in advance the isometric drawing. And that's all for now. Thank you for watching.